Hey guys, how's it going? Damien here. And today, we're going to be taking a look at where you can get your hands on the Tree Sentinel armor set. Now, this is one of the nicest pieces of armor in the game, and they make you work to get it. Now, this armor set can be found in the Oriza Hero's Grave. Now, I know I butchered the pronunciation of that, but today we're not doing English, so I'll let it pass. So, starting at the beginning of the dungeon, you're going to want to head over here. First, shove a stone sword key in the gargoyle's mouth, and he should, if he's feeling nice, open the fog wall for you. Now be careful, there are two basilisks in here, but you can run straight past them. And, in the corner of the room, you will find the Golden Epitaph, which is the first of four items we'll be grabbing on our way to get in the Tree Sentinel armor set. Now that we've got that, turn around and make your way out the room. Then take the first left down into the hall. So, making your way into the hall, you're going to come across chariots. Now, whenever you go down or up one of these ramps, there's going to be chariots going up and down. There's sometimes one, sometimes two. So, in order to avoid them, you're going to have to run into the alcoves, like you're seeing me do on the screen now. It'll take a little bit of time getting used to the timing, but if you sprint right after it passes, you should be fine. Now, when you get down here, stand right between these two pillars, and you won't be hit. Don't worry about the chariot behind, because it can't pass that golden circle. It's almost like a chariot stopper. Now, run into this alcove on the right-hand side to avoid the chariot, and then run up the ramp, and then back down the other side until you find another alcove to drop into. Once you've found it, drop in, and sit tight. Now, all you have to do is wait for the chariot to pass overhead, and wait for it to come back again. Once it's passed back over, sprint as fast as you can down and into the next alcove on the left hand side. Be careful, there are skeletons waiting on both sides and in both alcoves, so make sure you've got your sword handy. Anyway, when the chariots are at the point you can see on the screen, make sure you dash now between them, running right, then left, to avoid the chariots. Once you've made your way past the chariot, you're going to need to avoid the next chariot. Yep, that's right, you're going to hear the word chariot a lot. So stand between these two pillars and wait for the chariot to go back up. And once it has, drop down to the beam where this item is. Then drop down again, and then a second time to make it onto the final beam. All you have to do here is adopt and compress 15 years of tightrope walker training into 5 seconds and make it to the end of the beam. Once you've done that, drop down to the next beam and say beam one last time before moving on. Once you've dropped down, you're going to want to take the doorway on the right, and then keep heading through the hallway until you get to the room at the end. Make sure you grab this item on the left, as it's the vulgar militia ashes, and you will definitely want them for later on in your game. And with your pockets crammed full with militia ashes, you're going to want to turn around and make your way back out the door that you've just came into. You see, we're going to be going back the way we came, except further down. So, jump onto this beam and then drop down onto these stone walls. Make sure you drop down onto the right hand one, because the left hand one has a skeleton at the end that will knock you off. Dash past the skeleton and make your way up the ladder. Now that you're at the top of the ladder, Keep an eye out as there will be a chariot up ahead going up and down. What you're going to want to do is run out of here, turn around and turn right. The room you're running into will have a stone pillar spouting fire. Make sure you hit this pillar as it's imperative to get in the tree sentinel armor set. Behind this by the way will be a grave glove wart just in case you're interested. Turn around, leave the room and be careful of the fire. Unless of course you are a Targaryen. From here, you're going to want to run out of the room and drop into this alcove on the left. The second the chariot passes overhead, you're going to want to sprint down and slide into the next alcove on the left. As you can see on the screen, I waited, ran too late, and I end up getting chicken scratched by the chariot. Ow. But I'm a tank and had too much health, so I didn't die. But for you, trust me, you will die from one shot. These chariots do a lot of damage. Once the chariot's turned around, take a left, head down the ramp, and take another left. Head to the end of this corridor, and there'll be some stairs at the end. There'll be a couple of skeletons in here, but nothing you shouldn't be able to handle. This guy up ahead deals a fair amount of damage and can take a fair amount, so get your strongest weapon out and throw a few power attacks his way. Once you've defeated him, you can walk behind him and pick up the Crucible Feather Talisman, which improves your dodge rolling but increases damage taken. Definitely worth grabbing if you ask me. From here, you're going to want to turn around and head back out the room. Then, take a right and keep going up the stairs until you come to an elevator. Climb on the elevator and ride it all the way to the top.
Once you're at the top of the elevator, there's nothing special up here, so just run straight past this pillar and duck into the alcove on the right. Once the fire's stopped, make your way out, and before dropping down, make sure you grab this great dragonfly head. It's nothing special, but it's a crafting material that's very rare in the game, so you might want to grab it. And finally, as you drop down, you will be rewarded the Holy Ground Ash of War and the Tree Sentinel Armor Set. I'll put it up on the screen now so that you can have a look at it. Anyway guys, that is going to do it for this one. Hopefully this video has helped some of you out, but if it hasn't or you have any questions, drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If however this video did help you out, please consider slapping that like button, and if you like this video, want to see more videos like this, or want to support me as a content creator, please consider smashing that subscribe button. Anyway guys, I'm Damien, keep it cool, and I'll see you in the next one. Laters!